my wife cheated on me days after our wedding, she even double dipped on me. Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we've got a story from our slash surviving infidelity where Op's wife cheated on him days after Op's wedding and even double dipped on him. Before we start, if you have any personal stories of how you got out of a toxic relationship with your cheating wife or girlfriend, that you want to share, feel free to email them to me. Let's get started. Original story. I just found out a few days ago that my recently made wife has cheated on me multiple times with her coworker. It's really hard because we just got married after being together for seven years and postponing our wedding out of 2020 due to COVID. Finally, we did it last month. But she's been talking to and meeting up with this guy behind my back for months and it's just all so fresh and new. We have both had concerns about our relationship for years now, different priorities, etc. But I can't help to think that she simply gave up on us and went into this because she wasn't confident in our relationship and therefore had no moral conscience, so to speak. I do know she liked this guy too. Even though she tells me it was nothing. Who knows for sure how deep the connection goes? Anyway, referring to our previous concerns, I am thinking that the best thing to do for myself would be to go ahead and begin filing for a divorce and move on with my life. It's the only way I can protect myself from this in the future and I will be forever scarred by the imaginations of those two being together. One of the biggest things I have asked for in this situation is accountability. She made the mess, she needs to clean it up. However, she still does not prioritize me and our relationship, going about her business largely the same as before. We have talked and she tells me that she doesn't know how I can forgive her and I am starting to think this was a self-fulfilling prophecy for her. Cheat, sever ties, move on. I would have been okay with the truth, but why did she have to hurt me to get there? Sucks that it had to come to this, wish we could have called off the wedding if I had known. I only know because I admittedly snooped but otherwise believe this would have continued behind my back and I don't think she regrets the behavior, more so now she sees how she hurt me and feels bad. I wish she had a backbone and did the right thing in the first place and prioritized me. Even just being more direct with her concerns and taking preemptive action would have stung a little at the time, but could have prevented a mountain of heartbreak. Yes, that timing was pretty terrible but I suppose there is never a right time. Thankfully we do not have kids. She is 29 and I am 30. Kids were one major thing we semi-disagreed over. I was open to begin trying soon and starting a family. It is important to me. She does want to have kids eventually, so she has told me, but wants to keep living her life and not be tied down, right now. So that was one disconnect we had among others. Another was which state to live in long term, our current location or back near family etc. But as we were approaching the wedding, I tried to be a grown and mature person, futile optimism apparently, that we could work things out and have a great future together, all while knowing a 50% chance of divorce down the line if we couldn't work things out. However, for her to do this deed and leave me hurt and bruised now forever rather than just tell me what was going on in her life and be a grown-up about it, makes me very frustrated. I want to make it clear that she did not come to me with this information. I did snoop and saw text messages, and apparently, she has been confiding in friends slash co-workers all along the way too which makes me feel some type of way about them. But anyway, I had to confront her which I did immediately and I allowed her to come clean about any shady stuff going on but she did not respond right away. Finally, when I said I knew she had relations she confessed and explained. Even then she told me it was only one time, while I was out of town last weekend at a close friend's wedding, without her. But in further conversations I got her to admit that it has happened multiple times, she says twice, who knows, doesn't matter. After snooping a little more, not proud but I felt like I had too, I learned that, what I believed to be, the first time she met up with him was a few days after our wedding and she came home and she and I had sex too. So, she double dipped that night. Messed up. That's why I feel like this is unforgivable, regardless of the special history of 7 plus years we have had together. Unfortunately, that will have to be a different memory for me and now I need to move forward. It's not like she had a random encounter one night and made a bad decision under the influence or something and came to me with regret and contrition. No, I caught her, and now I have to believe in myself and start my new life and reality without her. Our lease goes for a few more months which will be tough but I am going to look into one of our moving out early to start the separation process sooner. Anyway, thanks for reading and I appreciate your support. Never thought I would be in this situation. But life challenges us every day to be better and this is my time to rise above. Before we take a look at some replies by other Redditors, take a moment to like the video to show your support to the channel. Don't forget to leave your own opinion on the story in the comments down below. Now let's look at some comments. Kranich wrote. Meet with a lawyer ASAP and go to a doctor to get tested for STDs. 
check out if you can get an annulment as the wedding was just a few weeks ago. If you can do this as it is almost like never getting married in the first place. Based on what you have said you have the right to file for an annulment under the pretenses of fraud, so speak to a lawyer with proof that she was lying about her infidelity before and after the marriage. The behavior of your wife shows clearly that she is not interested in reconciliation, I would bet that they are still banging before slash during slash after work. Now that it is out in the open, they are probably not even hiding it any longer. Tell your friends and both families why you are getting an old slash divorced, what she did, and the fact that your friends were helping her. Ask them for support, don't be alone with your thoughts now. Stay away from alcohol and drugs, both won't help you and will only make things worse. Also, make a complaint about her affair to her HR department as most companies will not do anything unless a spouse files a complaint, and if her AP is married or in a relationship inform is so. You are worth so much more than to be treated this way. Op replied to Kranich and wrote. Thanks. I need to look into this. Of course, I would prefer an annulment, it sounds cleaner. I have proof. I am going to try to go without lawyers, but the moment things start going south, I will be on the phone. We'll get tested for STDs. And telling family and friends is super important I agree. I spent the past couple of nights at my family's. I waited a few days to tell my family. I needed time to process and get my mind right. But I talked to them all today, what an awesome Thanksgiving gift, oh well, and I feel better already. I need folks in my corner. It was so nice to have a calm and loving Thanksgiving. When I got home today, she still kissed me on the cheek and told me she loved me before she left to go out with her friends. I am realizing that I need to tell her I do not want her kisses or saying she loves me any longer. She has been throwing those in there all week and though conflicted, I have sort of acquiesced and let her do it. Even though I feel bad and haven't said I love her so freely and get emotionally triggered by the small quick kisses here and there. I need to tell her to stop. I am going to put up a boundary when she gets home today. I just don't need that in my life right now with all the confusion and sadness I am feeling. From this point on we are roommates with overlapping interests until we ultimately move on our own. And thank you for your kind words, and your note on substances. I will do my best. Sampa Tunike wrote. So sorry this has happened to you. Your soon-to-be ex-wife is a coward, she had ample time to tell you about her feelings before you got married. Get it annulled and get out. It doesn't matter what excuse she gives, she lied to you for a long time. Just go. Move on with your life. She is broken, and you can't fix her. Even if you were to reconcile something like this would pop up again in the future. You know you deserve so much more and in time will get it. Wishing you all the best. Electrical Clock 59 wrote. This woman is repulsive. Why did she bother getting married if her ability to commit is this flimsy? She's terrible in every sense of that word. This woman doesn't deserve to be married to anyone or be in any type of a romantic relationship for that matter. Op replied to Representative Aid 27 and wrote. She kept hinting and wanting me to propose, even claiming to have given me an ultimatum to propose at one point, even though I don't recall her doing that. She chose the venue and everything as well. Then as things changed in the past year maybe too, she didn't take responsibility and led me astray. Wants to say I'm the one who pressured her to go through with the wedding at the end, but my perspective was that we were grown-ups who both made their own grown-up decisions to get engaged and married now should carry through what we set out to do. I was unable to know the true depths of her deceit and doubts. Tercer 78 wrote. Her attitude says everything about this failing. She did everything wrong and yet doesn't show real remorse for it. Just guilt. Learn to gray rock hard. Look into the annulment laws in your area too. But basically, stop having communications with her. Get STD tested since she was so disgusting about it. Focus hard on separation because true healing doesn't begin until she's out of your life. Switch Sato wrote. Boundaries are going to be important for the next few days, weeks, and months. Tell her that her physical touch and kisses are no longer welcome. Tell her you will no longer be available to eat together, watch Netflix, etc. Move her into the spare bedroom if you have one. If not, move her onto the couch. If you need to, put up a lock on your bedroom door which she cannot access. Go on opposite work schedules or minimize interaction with her so that you become two ships passing in the night. Go to the gym before and after work, then dine out, go to the movies by yourself, hang out over at friends' houses, etc., anything to minimize your involvement with her. I predict that around Christmas and New Year's Eve she's going to start love bombing you and seeking your attention slash affection etc. Don't fall for it. Rubik's underscore fucked. Cheaters need excitement and cheaters need someone to keep the home and pay the bills. 
You unfortunately have been selected for the latter role by your wayward wife. She doesn't love you or respect you. Her actions are proof of this. Make all your preparations in secret and act when you are ready. She may make false allegations of abuse or violence to lash out at you. When you are ready to move out do not tell her. When you get another place lined up secretly begin to move your belongings over or take the day off work and do it all at once while she is out of the home. Then go no contact and allow your lawyer to do all the talking. Talking with her directly will accomplish nothing. For the moment while you are stuck with her avoid sex. She will not be using protection with her playmates. Get yourself tested for STDs. Also, you do not want her to get pregnant. The sooner you leave the better as nothing is preventing her from getting pregnant by one of her other partners. One other item for your consideration. You mentioned you wanted to establish boundaries with her. I will tell you frankly do not bother if you intend to leave. Even if you press ahead and insist on boundaries, she will violate them regardless. Take for example that you are no longer comfortable with her showing you affection slash kissing you. Rightly so. If you pull away from her, she will chase you. This is why I have advised that you make and execute all your preparations to leave in secret. She will not release you easily. She is likely narcissistic. You are a possession to her. You have wondered why she went through with the marriage while being with other men. You are all her toys. You are part of the image she wants the larger world to see. You offer the stability she needs to chase excitement elsewhere. The thrill of running around behind your back, the potential drama, and the misery she is causing you are all good fuel. Indifference is your weapon of choice as is the exposure of her affair to her employer and friends and family. Deploy both after you have moved out. People like your cheating wife go to great lengths to protect the image that they have cultivated, false allegations, smearing your reputation. For now, to keep your advantage do not rock the boat slash set boundaries and work quickly to get yourself away from her. Then burn her image and her life to the ground. You will have satisfaction but make sure it is all on your terms. Op made a public comment and wrote. Just wanted to say thanks to everyone for the overwhelming thoughts, support, and advice you have so quickly provided. I wish I could give you all a high five or a hug. It is so important to have your empowering thoughts and opinions to lift me and get me to my feet. And to you, and the reason you are here, I hope you can find peace and enjoy your life to the fullest. I know we all have that in us, we just have to be good and true to ourselves. Thank you. What do you think about all of this? Do you think Op will ever be able to heal from his wife's betrayal? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload.